guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of Love Life Superstar. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Poor baby. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Ah! Mm. Well, it seems like you can. You just get nervous. Poor baby. <laughs> that teenage angst. <laughs> Does you look adorable, honey? I know you didn't get into the dream school that you wanted to get in, but at least you got somewhere. <laughs> Excuse me. just yesterday and now look it has an anime and everything like oh I wonder if we're going to see the others. I mean, because now we've only seen Conan and the other girl. I wonder if the rest of them are going to show up, too. I mean, they have to. you oh honey it makes you wonder could she possibly try again adorable Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was a really interesting way to put episode one. Damn. Hmm? <laughs> so is it interesting that I'm already getting like yo vibes from her? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you just get nervous. Look at their school. Look how pretty their school is. I already love her voice. Oh my god. <laughs> She's just one of those who's very like excited and so you can hear it in her voice and it's just like naturally like yeah draw people in. <laughs> though. It makes you wonder how they're going to do that in the dub. Yeah, what you do. You wouldn't love it if you weren't doing it, right? Oh, and there's the last one! Let me guess, you the student council president?
Oh. But damn, you don't have to be mean. No, honey, you have talent. episode one I'm not ready for all this we're not even done with this episode yet <laughs> You just get nervous. She likes to sing around by herself, but when it comes to people, like, eh. <laughs> But you're nervous. All the way in elementary school. Oh, damn. It's not your fault. Yeah. I mean, but Cuckoo, don't worry. She gonna join. We all know it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and in a way, they're prodigies. The girl with the ponytail. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh. Get ready to have a thunderstorm in Florida. God dang. Come on now. Everyone's out. Huh. Yeah, but how can you be so sure about that? Even though we already know there's going to be. Because there's one. And there's another. And we already saw our other one last night. Of course she is. They might even hear that girl singing again. Yeah, but come on, just try. You know she's going to keep asking you until you say no. Well, I mean, not no. Yes, but... It is okay, but you just have to make that first step and just say yes. No, you can't.
It wouldn't surprise me if we get a song by the end of this episode, but if not, that's okay too. That's feather that's traveled all the way from one series to here. <sighs> Oh, they look so good. I mean, even though it's just her, she looks good in the CGI 3DS. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna Well, see, if this is the opening, okay, that's already the best opening, hands down. That's it. Of course. Okay. A song. Uh, Light. Mm, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Because I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> Light Ella? Is that how you say it? Now, I wonder if this is in the Funimation version. Probably not, but it's cute. That was so cute. Oh my god. Stop it. I'm a this is only episode one and we already in the feels way too much and these girls are gonna make me like once again no matter how many idol series that I watch it's always you get obsessed with it and it's every single week it's like oh hey it makes you want to do better be better and just like mm, be successful and positive and ish like oh my god. Okay so going back to the year when this was coming out and such and this was being developed and everything and we got to the point where 
we were trying to figure out who all was going to be in this group. Um, Condom was the first one to who I instantly was drawn to, and I knew she was going to be in the group. For the other ones, I was just like kind of giving guesses and such because it was that big picture where it was a crossing road and it had like kind of was dead center in the middle and you could see other people passing and so I remember like people were trying to guess and who was going to be in this group and the fact that this is the smallest group in the Love Life series I really love it I mean as much as I love having nine girls in a group don't get me wrong like oh god <laughs> nine girls it's really hard to figure out like who is your best girl like for for muse it's easy because for me that's nozomi for aquas that's um yohane for uh nijigasaki school idol club that is i can never say her name right it is freaking um nezuko's va's character in that series and then for this it's the first time that i've actually really liked the leader because like 50 out of 50 I, I've liked the leader in the beginning of the show and then by the time like we get maybe fairly close to the end like the leaders maybe not my favorite anymore it could be because of some reasons like mm, god like I know a lot of people love no I'm not even gonna talk about that no because I feel like somebody's gonna, gonna get mad at me if I say that but I mean yeah like this is the first time where I've really been drawn to the leader type character and the main like person of it and who starts the group and such because normally I'm either starting I, I either fall for like the second or third or fourth or fifth person who gets introduced into the series but honestly she's really adorable I, I like her owl oh my god that's so freaking cute and such I like her younger sister kind of giving me also like not only like Kayon feels slash Bundity feels um very much the way the school is in a way gives me um I cut two friends vibes where it was a school where you had half of the school was a regular type of school where they, they still all had like the same uniform and such and then the other half of the school was girls wanting to be idols. And so you still had regular classes just as much as anyone else. But then during the second half of the day, the girls who had idol classes and, you know, uh, photo shoots, um, having to go record a song or do this, this, that, and third, interviews and everything, they had that for the second half of the school hour of their day and such and I really think that's cool and even the inner um not the interview the uniforms of contrasting between who's going to the main school and who's going to the music side of the school is very interesting and different I do like that dynamic I think that's really really good I mean like I already love everything about this Coco she's adorable freaking adorable I love the fact that we have someone who speaks a different language she gives me um very much Emily vibes from the Idol Master Million Live series, except you know Emily. Emily is British and such, but uh, having someone who was from a different country and coming overseas from somewhere else and wanting to be an idol because they fall in love with idols. I really like for me like the goal, the dream is to see someone who either is American or Afri African American like myself and being like, hey, I want to be a school idol or like some, just an idol in general. I think. It's going to happen one day. I don't know when, but I would love for that to freaking happen. Um, Samira, Samira is kind of like second best girl for me. Um, the girl with the ponytail, I, I like, because really, like at the end of the day, I love everybody. But I think still for best girl, it's Samira and Kanan right now until like I really establish like who is still kind of number one for me. But, I mean, yeah, it was a really good first episode. I mean, honestly, like, Kanan, she's just adorable. I like the fact that she, she's still similar to Honoka and the rest of the other leaders, but at the same time, the one thing that I love about each particular leader from each series is that they're also different. Yes, they all want to be idols at the same time, but then at the at the beginning she just wanted to sing because she liked singing but now this is going to be her journey into becoming a singer and to be able to stand in front of people and not be nervous because of course like that happens to everybody and you, you gotta feel bad for her but now that she was able to do it in front of people and not even realize she was doing it until the end of the episode she's like oh snap like i can do anything now <laughs> but, 
yeah, I thought it was really cute and adorable. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Love Live Sunshine. No, did I just say sunshine? Superstar. I am so sorry. There is Once again, we about to have a problem because there's too many Love Live series and I'll get mixed up with one of them. Of Love Live Superstar. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday. Which, oh my god, can we talk about the fact before we even go that, okay, this was supposed to premiere yesterday. And I think a lot of us were like really... I think people were like, it was in between. Like, people were pissed and people were okay with it. Me, I was like, I was all ready to watch this yesterday. And now this comes out on Mondays, but honestly, I'm okay. But I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode two. Bye, guys.